Hello, this is Isaac Lundgren. 2020 has thrown us a few curveballs, to say the least, but one uh, not-so-curveball, or one pretty awesome thing about it, is that we have finally been blessed with our first Alfred Hitchcock films available on 4K Blu-ray. It's a new classics collection which was just released by Universal Pictures today, which includes Rear Window, Vertigo, Psycho, and The Birds. First look at the packaging reveals a nice slipcase, a quality uh, inner sleeve for each of the discs, and it features a collection of images and posters from the different films in the collection. It's a nice cardstock case. The discs are a little difficult to remove. Rear window, of course, is a little easier than the rest. The 4Ks are on the left, and it also includes the Blu-ray disc on the right. The 4K disc uh, features a more planar design, with the black and white 4K Ultra HD being the feature of the design. The Blu-ray, of course, generally offers a little more color on their discs. They have a list of the bonus features, many or all of which are available on the previous Blu-ray. You'll have to confirm some of these on your own if you're curious about the bonus features. One impressive included item is the two versions of Psycho. So this version apparently hasn't been seen since the 1960s. So this could be uh, something that would be exciting to take a look at for the first time. And then of course the version that we've all seen uh, that has been broadcast since then. Now with these older films, uh, generally there will be some softness to the images and uh, just varying levels of quality that you can even get from an old film, uh, even if it's been properly scanned and cleaned up. So it could be uh, kind of a mystery uh, on what the image quality actually looks like. We're going to take a look at these, some of these films. I'm very excited to see if the 4K release offers anything um, new or special that we didn't already have a pretty good glimpse of in the Blu-ray. Okay, I've just put in Vertigo and have been skipping through some of the scenes. I had no idea this film was taken such good care of, or either that or that this rest restoration project was this extensive, because I had no idea it was in this good a shape to appear this good in 4K. I was honestly expecting it to look kind of softer, a little more run down on some of the edges, but it looks amazing. I, I am so impressed that it could even look this good. I'm going to add a few still frames where I zoom in extra close on the screen just so you can kind of get a glimpse at uh, the image quality from close up. Next up is Rear Window. Apartment to listen to the automatic laundry and the electric dishwasher. 
Uh, Maybe in the high rent district they discussed. In my neighborhood, they still nag. Yeah. I'm watching Rear Window next, and the colors are very clean and vibrant looking, but um, I'm afraid that the image is that uh, slightly softer look uh, that I was expecting to see in Vertigo and um, I don't know if they have a very very recent very good restoration of rear window available this is probably the uh, best available that we have and it is good it is very nice especially if you don't have the blu-ray at all but um, it just seems a little bit fuzzy and some of the elements are um, kind of grainy, grainy and matted a little bit and uh, in some of the composite shots, uh, they're a little, I guess, a little more telling on how things are put together. There was a little bit of that in Vertigo as well, but this uh, just seems a little more aged in general. Now, it's not that I wouldn't recommend it at all, um, especially, you know, if you love Rear Window and are looking for the, the best version possible. Um, I just uh, wasn't as dazzled by this restoration or this print of the film as as I thought it would be after watching Vertigo. Maybe I shouldn't have watched Vertigo first. Maybe I should have started with this one first. Uh, but anyway, it's uh, it's still decent, but it, you can tell it's age a little more than Vertigo for sure. Me. My mother called to see if Teddy called. Oh, your sister called to say she's going to Tucson to do some buying and she'll be gone the whole weekend. And... The girls out and get your boss to air condition you up. He can afford it today. Come out. The film Psycho is looking very nice. It has it's uh, very sharp for the most part. Lots of nice textures, um, good values throughout the um, the tones in the black and white range. Um, it's a little bit soft at times, although that is not as noticeable um, because the film was shot in black and white. So in general, it just seems pretty clean as well. Just finishing with the last one, um, the birds. The birds I thought was not going to look as nice as it did since there's so many um, composite shots in the birds, but for the most part, it looks pretty clean. There's some light grain in, um, in plenty of the shots, but it's not like an overwhelming amount of grain. Um, the colors look really nice. The textures look good. Uh, it does have some soft edges uh, in some of the shots. Uh, which is to be expected for a film of, of this age. And uh, the composite shots, um, since the resolution is so high now, uh, look a little messier. Um, and for some reason, when composite shots are restored, oftentimes they're not restoring each element and putting it back together. They are restoring uh, whatever the composite shot was composited to be as and then made into a film element, they're restoring that completed film element. So if there was flaws in the film elements that they were putting together to begin with, some of those um, start to show up in, in some of these composite shots. But in general, uh, I am very impressed with the, um, the 4K release of all four of these films. I do think it's a, a wise investment. Um, it's not a must must have if you've got the Blu-rays there. The Blu-ray transfers are pretty good um, as is. But you do get a little bump in resolution. Um, some of the prints look a little nicer. Vertigo looks nicer to me. Um, I have seen that one on Blu-ray a few times and um, I, I wasn't expecting 
that much of a difference, but uh, I don't know if my mind's just playing tricks on me and I wanted it to be better and I'm just seeing it that way or if it is actually a little nicer, but um, I think it's a, it's a great set and it seems pricey, but considering these are like four of the best films ever made, if you divide the cost by four, it's really not that, I don't think it's overpriced at this point, but you know how it goes if you wait three months, six months, a year, a couple of years, the price, you know, gradually scoots down as some used copies become available and you'll be able to pick it up at a lower price if you're budget conscious. Anyway, I do give it a thumbs up and uh, hope you enjoy it if you end up purchasing.